Hello, welcome to this video where I'm going to be teaching you how to create a very simple FAQ drop down. So if you are interested to learning how to do an FAQ drop down with animations, then um, go ahead and watch the video till the end. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just create two sections here just because I always prefer to be building this from the middle, from the center of the screen. Now that I have it, I want to add two things actually. So the first one is the JavaScript and HTML. The second one is going to be the CSS. That's it. It's that easy. So for that, I'm going to add a custom JavaScript HTML element and I'm going to open the code editor. Now here, what I want to do is I want to start by creating um, um, a button class. Okay. And I'm going to call it FAQ in this case. And um, here, what I'm going to do is just add the first question right here. And then I just simply close the button right there. Now, after that, I add a div here and I'm going to call it uh, panel. OK, now close this out and I'm going to add now a paragraph where I'm going to answer the question here. OK, so we know now here what we need to do is just we need to close the paragraph and then uh, after that, we just need to close the div as well. So let me close the div now here. Sorry. So now here, what we have is very, very simple. We have a paragraph with the answer where we can add other things. For example, an image, if you want to add an image, you can also add inside this um, and other stuff if you want to add as well. But for this example, I'm just going to be building a simple paragraph inside this div class. It's called panel. And then we are going to have an FAQ um, uh, effect for this first question. Now, if I want, I can copy this uh, three times. So we have question one, two and three. And this is the first one. OK, now the next thing I want to do is I want to be adding the JavaScript. Now for the JavaScript, I'm not going to copy to to use it. I'm just going to copy and paste it. So that's it. The first thing we just want to know and make sure is that this one here is the same as the, pa the, the button. And this one here is the same as this class panel. OK, that's the first thing we want to be building. Now, if we we'll go ahead and save this, just don't, so we don't lose the progress. Now we can go to the CSS. The CSS is something that you can be free to create a lot of things now. But to create that, what we need is to call the FAQ. OK, and now inside and open and close brackets inside the FAQ, we can do all kinds of things. We can add background color and uh, I'm just going to use this color here. Uh, we can add a color, for example, um, of this for the text. You know, we can add, I don't know, let's let's add a border just on the bottom where we can have a solid two pixel um, border. OK. And it is important that we add the important version here. We can add uh, the cursor pointer if you want the padding. Let's add it like 18 pixels padding. Now, next, what we need, we need a width of 100 percent. Obviously, uh, we might need a border. A none, we just want a border on the bottom. OK, uh, on the sides, we don't really want the border. Um, we want to align the text. OK. And it's going to be on left in this case because it's, it's important to be on left. Um, we are going to add outline none. Outline none. Um, probably let's set up the transition. OK, for 4.0.4 4 um, seconds and probably. Maybe we just set the size of the, the font. So font size, I don't know, like 16 pixels, maybe 14 pixels. Let's add 14 pixels in this case. OK, now after that, we need to set up an active. OK, um, for FAQ. Open and close brackets. And now we are going to set the, the, the background color that is going to contrast with everything. In this case, let's use this orange. Um, I think this is an orange here and uh, let's add um, almost black kind of color, like a dark, a rich black here. OK, now the last part, what we need 
is we need to set up some um, properties for the panel and I'm going to give a padding of 18 pixels and 18 pixels um, and this is going to be important uh, display I don't want it to be displayed and um, let's go ahead and set up the, the background color real quick uh, let's give it a white background color and overflow let's get it hidden so now with all of these what we need and by the way you can simply adjust the settings uh, by adjusting the codes that are here so if you don't like this background etc you can change the backgrounds the color the border etc it's very simple to do that and now let's go ahead and just preview what we have our work we have here so we had the first question here we had the second and we have the third question there's something here that is not working, which is um, the cursor kind of thing. So I'm, I want to change that. So let's go back here, hover, there we go. I just missed an R there. And now we can go ahead and preview here. And there you go. We have the hover effect right there with these colors. This is not an orange though. So I would change it to an orange, but anyway, uh, this is the effect that you can create uh, very, very simply in Click Funnels. You can add it in the footer if you want. Uh, and obviously, you can adjust the width by just adjusting the width right here if you want it shorter or if you want it in the two kind of section where here you are going to have a headline and a paragraph. And then here you have it on the right. You can always do that. Uh, but the most important part is understanding how you can build it. Okay. And then you are going to implement anywhere you like okay now for more css tricks you can actually go ahead and get my css master bundle right now is in a discount of 50 percent. so if you want to take advantage of that go ahead and click the button below um, and if you are curious about any specific tutorial that you like to see let me know and i'll create a video for that have a great one